Introducing the AM4013TLM40. This microscope has a magnification range of 1 to 37 times the magnification. Here we are using the M40 with the MS35B stand. Now as you can see here we're working at about 7 to 8 inches away and that provides a 10 times the magnification power. This microscope also features a measurement feature so you can take measurements on the pictures or a live image and it also has LED lights that you can toggle on and off. So if you would like lower magnification or to get more into view, you would just move the microscope up and away from the object as we are demonstrating here. And again we are using the MS35B with the extension pole on it as well giving us added height. So right now as you can see we have backed out away from our object increasing the field of view but lowering the magnification and right now you can see we are at about seven times the magnification. Now because this is a longer working distance model you may be a little further away from the object to have the LEDs be as effective as you need them to be. And again, if you wanted to see a 30 times magnification image, you would just set it to 30 and then move your microscope down until you got that into focus as well. And here, as you can see, we are using the MS35B. It works great and it has this fine adjust knob that we are using coming in very handy. And if you needed to achieve powers above that we can hit 38 times the magnification we can go down there and view that as well. With this model just like all of our digital models you can take a snapshot of your image so we can take a snapshot and save that image into our computer and we can make measurements and annotations on that image as well. You can also do that on the fly so your live images you can make measurements and standards on those as well. So here as we're demonstrating we have just taken a picture and then we can make a simple measurement by taking the measurement feature at the top of the window. You can just select from line, arc, radius, several different types of measurements that you can make. Right now we just want to take a line measurement so we're going to select the line tool and then we'll pick a starting point and an ending point. Thank you for watching.